वेलकम टू द चैप्टर आर्टिकल सिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स एस्टडे वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट द भर एंड देयर टाइप्स इन दैट वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांजिटिव भर एंड इन ट्रांजिटिव भर सो स्टूडेंट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ट्रांजिटिव एंड इन ट्रांजिटिव भर दैट आई एम सी इन ट्रांजिटिव भर वी कैन से वी कैन सी देर इज ए डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट बट इन इन ट्रांजिटिव we cannot see any object okay not only the direct object may be it indirect object but always remember a indirect object come after the direct object okay so this is the difference in transitive verb we can found the object part but in intransitive verb we have no object part so now how to find a direct object or how to find a object and how to uh, recognize that we have no object to find the object we have to ask the question using the verb look at the example mohan painted a picture now we can make the question using the verb how that what did mohan paint so what is our answer a picture so we can ask the question using what and who or whom so what did so our question is what what did mohan paint i make the question or i made the question using the verb is not it so what did mohan paint a picture nisha made a doll now look at this example what did nisha make nisha made a doll so object is the doll understood so we can find the direct object by using the what and what to the verb okay so we can make the question uh, using the verb when we are getting the answer that is called direct object now didn't uh, now look at this d transitive verb so what is d transitive verb d transitive verb means a verb that have two objects is called a d transitive verb for example look at this in this sentence we have two object my brother gifted so we can make the question to get direct object we have to make the question using what to get the indirect object we have to make the question to whom now look this my brother gifted what did my brother gift a book so a new book is the direct object to whom that gifted is given to me so me is the indirect object so in a sentence when you are getting two object one is direct object another is indirect object that is called d transitive verb hope students you all are clear about that still any doubt then come to me and ask me thank you